Hey, okay, so let's talk about being tired all the time. I've been going through this recently. I don't know why I'm saying recently. I've been going through this for months. Um, I was recently, this part is recent, diagnosed with sleep apnea, but I so far I'm having a hard time finding um, someone that my insurance can work with to get me fitted for a CPAP mask and go through all of that rigmarole. So that's fun. But even more than that, it's become painfully obvious that there just isn't enough time to do anything it feels like anymore. Let me give you an example. Um, a couple of years ago, during the pandemic, I was actually doing a live stream uh, for a while every day in the morning before I would go to work. I would work from 11 in the morning till 9 at night, and I would get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, and I would have my coffee, eat breakfast, and then I would get all the stuff together for my live stream, and then I would do the live stream, and then I would download it, work on a little bit of editing for it, and then I would do my day job. I wanted to be able to do something similar now, in 2023, and I just cannot, I just can't do it. And it's only been three years, but I will get up at five. I will do my usual coffee and breakfast and watching Netflix stuff with Karina. And then inevitably, I don't do anything. I end up going back to bed for another couple of hours until it's time to start my shift at 10 a.m. And then I work from 10 to 7. And then we have some sort of thrown together dinner. I'll watch a couple of videos on YouTube. And by 9 o'clock, 9.30, I am exhausted. I can't keep my eyes open and I go back to bed. And no matter how much I... Um, rate myself, no matter how many good intentions I have to, even if it's not video related stuff, right, that I would at least take that time in the morning before my shift to clean up a little bit around the house, maybe. Uh, do some dishes, sometimes I do that. Um, vacuum, dust, whatever. I'm going to be productive, I'm going to do something. And Inev inevitably, it doesn't happen. And even like a year ago, I was better at this. I used to go on morning walks every, every day, basically. I mean, I would take the weekends off. But during the week, I'd go out for a walk around my apartment complex. I'd just go around twice. That was about 20 minutes. I'd listen to a podcast or something, just get outside and it was great. And lately, I, lately, over the past year, I have done that like almost never. Uh, it just has not happened. Uh, I'm a, getting a little bit better about getting back into doing some workouts. Um, and that's good, but I'm still eating like shit. And so what inevitably happens, right, every week is that Thursdays are my Fridays. So get off work at 7 on Thursday. Same thing. We'll watch a couple of videos. I will, I will go to bed around 9.30, 10, sometimes as late as 10.30. Ooh, I'm living, living dangerously there, 10.30 bedtime. And... And I'll wake up the next morning, and I will wake up at 5. And I'll do that on my days off, Friday and Saturday, just because, you know, so many times I've read over the years how it's good for you to just maintain the same sleep schedule, right? If you, if you 
sleep in too much on the weekends. It's hard to get yourself reset to start getting up early again during the week. So you can just save yourselves a whole lot of problems by just getting up at the same time every day, regardless of what day of the week it is, regardless if you have to work or not. So I've been doing that. But then Fridays are my ketamine treatment and ketamine just wipes me out. And it didn't, I don't think it used to be this bad. I have been doing it for two years now. And believe me, I'm going to be coming to, to doing a video about my thoughts on ketamine two years in. But just know that when I first started doing this, I don't remember it just kicking my ass the way it does now. Now, I go to my ketamine treatment first thing in the morning. So it's like nine o'clock in the morning. I am doing the treatment. I'm done by a little bit after 11. If we don't go out right after that, like Karina drives me home because you cannot drive after coming out of a, a two hour K-hole. Um, at least you should not drive in that condition. And I don't, so Karina will, will drive me home. But I swear, if we <clears throat> if we don't go out and do something, if we just go straight home, I pretty much trash the rest of the day. I inevitably, again, will will either read a little bit or watch something. One o'clock rolls around. I have all these grand plans, right? I'm going to work on maybe doing a video script or, or, you know, reading more than I end up reading or playing a video game or anything. And by one o'clock, I am just wiped out and I take a nap until three, four o'clock, wake up from that, realize all of the crap that I didn't do the rest of the week, right? All the cleaning, all the laundry, the dishes, vacuuming, dusting, all of it. None of it's gotten done, and today was going to be the day. I was going to do it on Friday because then it would be done for the rest of the weekend and I get to enjoy a nice clean place for the rest of the weekend. But I wake up from the nap and I still feel as logy as I did when I lay down for the nap. I, I look around and I just can't muster any desire to do this. I can't muster any energy to even do video games, um, which is kind of just my, my break, right? My release, my escape. And, and so what do I end up doing? Nothing. I, I don't do anything creative. I will most of the time kick myself in the butt enough to do the dishes, and and then something. You see, I lose entire weekends because I don't I don't do anything that I remember. Uh, eventually, at some point, because Krina has Crohn's and she's her, she is usually just as tired and wiped out as I am. So inevitably, if I'm napping, she's napping. Um, I'll just take the past of Leith, and I'll just, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll do nothing, right? And Karina, um, she, for those of you who don't know, has Crohn's, and she is exhausted most of the time, too. So both of us are exhausted. So if I'm napping, she's usually napping. And sometimes I, I go to wake her up and she's, you know, she's she can do it. Other times she, she just can't. She's just practically comatose because she's just feeling so exhausted. And so I'll take the path of least resistance and just watch tech videos on YouTube, which I I am so burned out on, but it's just habit. It's just 
something that doesn't require me to think, I guess. It just seems like it doesn't take any effort. And, and before I know it, Friday's done. It's gone. It's over. Didn't really do much. Didn't get anything really done. Go to bed again around 10.30 or so. Wake up 5 a.m. on Saturday. And I spend most of Saturday morning trying to do all of the cleaning that I didn't get to do, didn't, didn't get to the rest of the week. And by the time I'm done with that, I haven't walked, and, and lately it's still getting hot out by around 1, 2 in the afternoon. I don't want to walk in the heat, so it doesn't sound good. Um, I've been trying to save money, so I'm not like going out to eat and stuff, so I don't really go out. I just, and, and by the time I'm done with, you know, as much housework as I can get done, while still feeling like I haven't slept in a week, I, I don't want to do all this. I don't want to go to the, the hassle of trying to drag out the equipment and get everything set up because I don't have a dedicated space to do this. So every time I, I, would, I want to do a video about anything, it's always it's setting it up and then at the end it's taking it all back down. And I know that this is all very much first world stupid problems. But it's very real to me. And it's making it harder to, to engage, to feel engaged, to want to engage with anything or, or anyone. Um, and the ketamine is working in as much as I'm not having the devastating lows, I'm not having those devastating crashes uh, that got me to a very dangerous place once upon a time, but still not where I need to be, so. So I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna keep trying to force myself to do what I know I need to do, which is keep up with the housework more regularly and get outside more regularly and, and do the eating more healthy stuff. But everything is so freaking expensive anymore. Everything is just, it just all costs too much. Just basic stuff costs too much. So, so I guess I am asking for your suggestions. Uh, one of the people who watches this channel asked me to do a video on how to keep up your motivation when you're chronically ill and don't feel motivated. And I honestly don't know. I feel like I'm basically just sleepwalking through my life anymore. And... And so, yeah, I'm asking for your help. Any of your suggestions, I would love to hear them. Please let me know what are your strategies. Because it feels like my world is very tiny, very small, very isolated, and very... Uh, anyway, that's it. I'm sorry if this is a bummer of a video. I know it's a bummer of a video. I hope I didn't bring your mood down. But, uh, yep, I'd like to hear from you. So that's it. And I, I will eventually put all my thoughts down about ketamine treatment two years in and hopefully have a more coherent and interesting video about that. All right. Take care. I will hopefully talk to you all soon.